You can file this in the imagine my complete lack of total surprise category. After a couple of weeks of people making a big stink about it and an uproar, the Saudis killed journalist Jamal Khashoggi. WWE is scheduled to do a show, what is it, November 2nd in Saudi Arabia. They can't do this show. They need to either cancel the event or do it somewhere else. And finally this week, the WWE, after kind of hemming and hawing a little bit publicly, seeing which way the wind kind of blew, made their announcement. Their decision is, is WWE Crown Jewel is still on as planned in Saudi Arabia. And it's absolutely no surprise to me whatsoever, nor should it be a surprise to any of you. Did you really think that WWE was going to pass up on an incredibly lucrative long-term financial agreement arrangement contract with the Saudis because one journalist got killed? If the WWE and so many other businesses domestically here in the States and internationally, including the U.S. government, are willing to look overlook all the human rights violations and all the other concerns and all the other meddling that Saudi Arabia does, because we've got to get that oil, that's just oil, 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 and we've got to get that blood oil money, all these other entities still lay in bed with and do business with the Saudis. But WWE is supposed to be so special, unique, and different that they should have a backbone and show some moral fiber and some integrity and say, the money doesn't mean that much to us. Bullshit. Money talks and all other bullshit walks. You either have it or you don't. You can take all the other crap all the being nice and being good and being decent. And that doesn't cash for shit when you go to the bank. It doesn't help your checks prevent from bouncing, does it? Are you really surprised that WWE would go on with this show? They had absolutely no intention of ever backing down. And again, if the way they treat women the other civil rights and human rights violations that there are, what they've interfered with other countries in the Middle East, all the other shenanigans they've pulled over the years. If that didn't bother the WWE before they entered into a contract, why would the killing of one journalist change anything about anything? I mean, realistically, what difference does it make? Because if WWE doesn't do it, somebody else eventually is going to do it. And all that money that would have been earmarked for WWE at a time where they really need it. And you can sit there and say, well, their financials say they don't really need it. But based off of the guidance that they put out there, based off of their overall financial picture and the amount of guaranteed revenue that's going to be for up to the next decade, they absolutely freaking need it. As a business, they're going to go there. Because let's, let's be realistic. When you talk about WWE... The years of the talk about the company being racist and the company being sexist and in some ways homophobic, even though they had a lot of homosexual employees over the years. All of that didn't stop people from still watching the company, still watching WWE, supporting WWE. This is going to be so much different where it's all of a sudden going to have this massively negative impact in the grand scheme of things. And the answer is hell no. Now, if you live in that dangerous place on social media and the internet, which unfortunately more and more people kind of creep into every day, where you live in this big echo chamber that you really think that these issues really make that big of a difference or in the grand scheme of things really matter that much to you on a day-in, day-out basis, I don't know what to tell you. It just simply doesn't. You think the average person or even the average WWE fan is going to give two shits one way or another? It sounds harsh, but it's true. You think they're going to give two shits that a Saudi journalist here in America went to a consulate in Turkey and got killed and chopped up and sliced and diced? No. This country being in bed with Saudi Arabia is so embedded into our culture and society that it's really, really hard to divest from that. And you could sit there and say, well, what about this and what about that? But... The simple fact of the matter is, what about all those other ones? If they don't have to stop doing business, WWE doesn't have to stop doing business.
period. And this whole thing, like, is just ridiculous. Like, so many people feigning outrage over this. Get a clue, get laid, get a wife. You have these idiots, too, like Layfield, JBL, of course, his dumbass. Oh, the best way to show them is to sit there and go there and take their money. Because, yeah, that's going to teach them a real fucking lesson, right? You stupid son of a bitch. No, the way you send a message is for people to not do business with them. Sitting there and saying, well, go there and we'll show the progress and we'll show the change. Well, if they don't want it, other than the way they want it, then it doesn't fucking matter. They won't even let your women perform there. They're not going to. They're not going to anytime soon. This is a country that just a couple of years ago made a big fucking deal out of the fact that, hey, women can drive now. Really? I mean, really. But, but, but going there, and of course taking their money, that's going to teach them. That'll learn them. That'll show them. Oh, bullshit. Spoken like a corporate jackass. Yeah, you shouldn't have been surprised at this at all. Because if WWE cared at all, not only would they have long since canceled the Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia and found an alternative destination, not only would they have done not done that greatest Royal Rumble event in Saudi Arabia and helped perpetuate the propaganda and everything else, they would have sat there and done nothing with them and done absolutely no business with that country and that government. And what did you expect? Vince, whose wife is head of the Small Business Administration, Linda McMahon, part of the Trump administration. You think the optics of that are going to be any good? That somebody affiliated with the administration, her former company, her husband's company, doesn't want to do business with the Saudi Arabians, where at the same time the president is talking about you can't back off of all the relations because of the guns, which is also code word for not only do we want to sell weapons, we want easy access to that oil, and also to be able to sit there and play Middle East games and meddle in everybody else's fucking affairs, which is why the hell so much of the rest of the world hates this stupid-ass country. If you don't like it, fine. I would prefer... The WWE didn't do business with Saudi Arabia at all. If you really want to make your voice heard, then do what I do. Don't watch the fucking event. Don't tweet about it when it's happening. Don't say anything about it. If you sit there and watch it, after all the complaining about it, then you're just contributing to the delinquency of WWE. Put your money where your mouth is. Boycott that shit. I mean, think about it this way. It's saving yourself from watching mediocre, crappy, higher production value house show wrestling for a few hours. I mean, what, what are you going to get? Potentially a Braun Strowman winning the belt? Oh, he won it out of the fucking blue because the former champion had to surrender due to leukemia. Let's all mark out. Hooray! Yeah, no. I'm good. I'll pass. And if it bothers you that much, then you should pass too. But what you shouldn't do is specifically solely call out WWE when they are just contributing to the delinquency of this country in a lot of ways. And they are just one small cog in a much larger wheel. They are not any more evil or any different than anybody else. Look to your elected leaders who don't lead who sacrifice you for their game, which is the antithesis of real leadership. Look at them who throw this country under the bus in order to be able to have tight relations strategically with certain countries like Saudi Arabia. And saying, yeah, you know, fuck the human rights and fuck the treating people decently and all that stuff. So, if it bothers you, whatever. Just don't watch. So that's what I'm doing. What you shouldn't be is surprised. If this really surprises you and like flummoxes you and baffles you, then I just have to ask the question, what freaking planet are you living on?